that forced people to stay at home for the past six months. A new wave of plantitos and plantitas for people with the age of 22 and 38 who have turned to garden and kept themselves busy by caring for plants and finding new ornamentals for their collection. It is said to relieve stress from the pandemic that is still growing here in the Philippines. But on the other side of this story, some sellers are taking advantage of the plant's popularity. According to Omar Alcantara, the owner of the garden store Miss Pots and Plants in Rosal. Some have taken advantage of the situation in a way to rake in more money in this answer. Suppliers would jack up the prices to any amount they want as long as people are willing to buy them. Some even label their plants as rare even though they did not nurture the plants and these were illegally taken from the mountains. The irregular pricing is not limited for the plants. Alcantara said that even pots and other implements for gardening are now being sold three to five times their pre-pandemic prices. This has forced her to stop buying clay pots for the meantime, while others resorted to using plastic pots. The craze for botanical ornaments has been so intense that last month, 9,000 worth of dwarf anthuriums were stolen from Alcantara's garage. The incident was caught on a closed circuit television. She said that it's like having a plantemic. Even Baguio City's reinvigorated parks have become victims of plant poachers as a so-called plantemic sweeps the country. Amid the craze that has gained popularity as a diversion, not a clear for COVID-19 pandemic induced boredom and depression, the City Environment and Parks Management Office reported using some plant species in the city's parks and green belts to plant things. Sender sent us a video of a girl riding a motorcycle. On her way to get the plant, a very unexpected accident happens. It might look funny, but that event did not stop her from getting the plant. This video is taken on February 24, 2020. As you can see here in this footage, the girl's being cautious with her surroundings. Little did she know that a CCTV is watching behind her. Mr. Cedric, can you believe that something like this is really happening in the middle of the pandemic? Well, as we can see in the video, it is true, but this kind of crime still surprised me, and this is punishable by the law. Next is an interview with a victim of a planned poacher. <laughs> Ah, yes, good morning, good morning. Sir Ken? Ah, about the topic, all I can say is... Ken! Tampak na hugasin mo daw pa, gusto mo maghugas. Mama naman, may interview ako. Sir Ano? Yung interview mo pwede mamaya yung hugasin mo ako. Mama, live to eh, live to. Kita ako sa TV o, oh, mama. Mama wow. naman eh. Hindi mo ba alam ako yung nag interview dito? News to, news. Ayaw mo siya! At yung sa nanakawan tayo ng ano, nan, nan, nanakawan tayo ng tanim. I-interview lang nila ako eh. 
Ayun yung kasi ko nilipat kasi hindi mawawala. Ito kita na ako napapanood na ako. Bukan nga mo mama eh. Mama eh. Mama naman me. Dilipat na dito. Caring and collecting may be a good way to take a break from the pandemic, but everything has its ups and downs. And that is our news for today. And I am Cedric Naga, and you are watching GVBS CBN. If you want to see our latest updates, follow us in our social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook at GVBS CBN underscore 2020.